one. Sorry, we are already started with the drink and drink. I'm sorry. It's very odd. You guys are gonna really think this funny. We are drinking red neck rogue. Drinking <laughs> red neck rogue. It's a sweet red table wine. Um, it's from Nassau Valley Vineyards. Pretty good. And that vineyard is located in Delaware. An interesting fact about Nassau Valley Vineyards is that it's the first and only award-winning winery in Delaware. Wow. Congratulations. So the wine is very tasty. Do you guys taste cinnamon in that wine? Let's see. I taste I don't know. It's so sweet. It's not my cup of tea, but... For one, sorry guys, my voice is hoarse. Yeah. You got to deal with it. I have like cinnamon in it. A little hint. It tastes like it could be. I don't know. Pretty good though. So, so everybody knows there has not been a man that joined us today. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn is hoarse. <laughs> So that's actually Lynn. <laughs> Such a hater. I do sound like a dude, though. <laughs> it's all right. How you doing? <laughs> hey, I'm a sexy dude. Yeah, it is, it is quite sexy, So actually. am I listening for what? <laughs> what? Am I tasting? <laughs> what did you ask? Listening for cinnamon. I do smell it when I lift the glass up, though. It's a, it's a fireball. <laughs> It does taste like a um. Yes, that's bowl. what I'm smelling. So it's sweeter red wine with a kick of spice. Yeah, that spice. And because it's called redneck wine, it says that it's good with possum, muskrat, squirrel, and roadkill. I will never mm. know. <laughs> Let's go get us some possum. Right. But it's really good. So like thank you, Nassau do. Valley Vineyards, for the wine. Like Grandpappy used to do. Oh my gosh. He did used to cook up some squirrel. Yes. And oh. possum. Okay. Oh, possum. So I remember being four. Eat this. Like, eat this. I'm like, all right. <laughs> right. Just a little bit. I remember him street. cooking up the squirrel, the squirrel for the dogs. Like, you would sit in the living room and swear the dog had, like, filet mignon, the way he used to cook up that squirrel and roadkill for the dogs back in the day. I don't think, think it was roadkill. I think they shot them. Well, whatever. Some of it had to be broken. Okay. Champagne, um, you know you know about that yeah, stuff. I know. Why are you talking like booty? She okay. know about that. Give him that one. Well, well, <laughs> I can be from the backwoods, but I promise you, I was in that country. I promise you. You don't know what you were in that country. Yes, I did. She knows what was in that country. And in that uh, chili. I couldn't identify it. It's going in my stomach. When it's round up, it all mm -mm. looks like. Mm -hmm. No. But it's menstrual. Really well. mm -mm. Okay. Promise so, what are we doing today? All right. So, today we're talking about the book to movie adaptation of Good Liar. Yeah. And the book is by Nicholas Seal. Okay. And then the screenplay for the movie was written by. By Jeffrey Hatcher, Hatcher. Mm -hmm. and then the director of this movie is Bill Condon. Okay. Condon. Condom. Mm -hmm. Condom. Knew that was gonna happen. What? What did I say? Condom. Oh, Condon. 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 Okay. I was actually gonna say Gordon because I can't see. No G up there. But anyway, okay. So let's dive into this. All right. So for me. Uh huh. Who I like, are you? I'm Champagne. We know that voice. Hi, Champagne. Hello. Hi. Um, I, I own this book. Okay, so let me just start. This book was extremely boring for me until the last chapter. Mm -hmm. or maybe two chapters. After that, I loved it. Movie was amazing. Um, yeah, so he did a good job. I love yeah. the book. I love Good Liar. So I love the twists and turns and ebbs and. I was just a little lost. But it just in wasn't the book. really a lot of twists and turns until you were kind of halfway through it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of chitty chat, talk, talk, just to get you in the mood and get you there. And once you got it, didn't there, do that. Right? Oh, didn't get me there. So for me, I, I I agree with Champagne. It was so boring, but I felt like there was something about it that made me think something was up. Something's going to happen, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so I, I was anticipating, like waiting for that to happen, and then it finally happened. But you kind of had to finish the whole book before you got to it. Yes. I literally was like, she cannot be this gullible. Mm -hmm. There's no yeah. way she's this gullible. Yeah. And I'm like, she had to be playing some kind of like double role, and then boom, I was right. I was like, catch. Yeah, I mean, you old, but you ain't stupid. Right. right. Exactly. I didn't. I was nowhere near there. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take a <laughs> And I mean, like, up until right before, really, if she exposed everything, I was like, they got it. And then it's like, yeah, she got him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really good. But let me tell you. I loved the movie. And they yes. made some modifications in the storyline. They line, did. But I think it made it better. I think it was necessary. I did. Yeah. I did too. 
Like at the end of the book, how she was like, I can give you this check back because it's not about the money or mm-hmm. some kind of some, some kind of thing she said. Yes. But in the movie, girlfriend was like, uh-uh. transfer, what? transfer. Well, keep lying. Okay. You got enough money to pay them back. Lying. Deuces. Right. <laughs> exactly. I was so happy because I, in the book, I was like, why would she give that money back? Exactly. I was it's hot. Their life right. Life. Exactly. So. I agree. I really love how, um, well, I know the cast was supposed to be older, but when they kept like, kind of making fun of being old. Like how he was using the cane and like running up the stairs and the next minute he was like all crotched mm-hmm. over. And oh, fragile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love how like seeing them act old. Mm-hmm. Even though they actually weren't. Mm-hmm. Are you fond of them? She really did not like that word. No. <laughs> she did not. No. Well, you well, see can. why. Yeah, I agree. It was a very good. It was he a, was very, a very horrible good. person. Horrible person. I mean, just a rotten uh, person. From when he was 13, he was rotten. Yeah. Just cool. mad. That's true. I love the way they dug deep to show you um, his flashbacks and how brutal he really was because I didn't get that at first. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, he's just a con artist trying to take his money exactly. until he killed the guy um, that came back mm-hmm. for his money or whatever. And, and I was like, hey, Bryn, when he killed him, Bryn, he was like, oh, not you okay. Lolly, but she went in front of a train. Basically, and walked away like nothing, went back shopping and didn't travel. And then like, gave okay. his like, trench coat to like, a homeless person. Right. You just didn't think twice about it. No. So that showed me he had a little bit more in him besides mm-hmm. just being a con artist. But then hearing his past, Mm-hmm. I was like, you literally are like rotten to the core. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I felt like in the book, I wish they would have talked more about why he was the way he was. Mm. I feel like he was born. I bet you there were like 666 on the back of his neck. <laughs> he was evil. Yeah, he was. That's true. He mm-hmm. was born because even like in the movie, I love the way they captured his demeanor, even when he was young in the movie. Because mm-hmm. we didn't quite get yeah. that when you're reading the book, but you could just see it in his face. Mm-hmm. Like he was just mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you yeah. have no empathy. Yeah. Right. And I guess that's the point. If you don't talk about like whatever could have happened to make him act the way he, act, right. he acted, then you Makes leave the worse. movie feeling like, yeah, got what you deserve. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So you don't want that backstory to that degree on how he got there. My struggle was, is that unfortunately, I love this act, um, Roy. So it's yes. hard for me to see him so nasty and wrong. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I love this old man. Right, oh, right. But that. he nailed it. He nailed he that nailed role. It. Oh, he's amazing. amazing. He's a great actor. Yeah, it was amazing. But, but was I was struggle. so happy that they didn't let us in on the con until the end. Yes. Y'all know I'm big on that. Yeah. I'm going to need y'all to keep me hidden too. Like, right. Just, I, <laughs> I thought that was good because I said that if anybody actually didn't read the book and went to see the movie, they would have been like really out of it. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. So they ca- ex- they, the movie kept you in suspense because you just, you didn't know it was a you con going, until I the end. I love those type of movies. You yeah. Go along with it. Like, because you don't, like you don't know either. Yeah. And, and like other they did a really good job with the screenplay and the direction of it. Oh, because yeah. they Who's just, the screenplay? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Hatcher. Hatcher. Oh, okay. He did a really good job. Yeah, that was outstanding. And the characters. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every single character I saw the way. Well, I mean, it didn't necessarily picture uh, African-American. As her stepson. As her, as her, as her, as her grandson. grandson. Yeah, as her, as her grandson, which her meant grandson. somebody had to be black. Yeah. But it was still perfect. Everything was perfect. Yeah. I mean, it could have gone either way. It wouldn't have mattered to me. Everything was spot mm-hmm. on. Especially at the end when he was, he said, thank you for my husband back. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, it was a whole family kind of. But yeah. The whole family. Oh God, it was beautiful. Con. Yeah. Right. To get, like, dignity back. Yeah. Yeah. Because it wasn't a, a family relationship in the book. That was just like a professor or someone at the yeah. school that she mm-hmm. had become close with. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that was one of the changes that I loved. Like I that just made it even more powerful. Yeah. I, I can't agree. say that there was one change that I didn't like. Yeah. Which Did is very rare. Which is very rare. It's right. very rare. Did you have any that you didn't like? None. No, that I, didn't. I can think of. Oh, the one I did not like. In the book, they didn't. I don't remember them fighting at the end. Once he, I, she felt like he was going to get aggressive once she he realized that oh, she yeah. took the money. But I didn't see that. They didn't say that in the book. It was more like, oh, you know, Stephen was there. Mm-hmm. Her grandson was there with her because she wanted him there because she didn't feel comfortable because okay. she thought that he may mm-hmm. work out. Um, but in the movie, he actually did. So the I violence think, in the end. Yeah, the viol- violence in the end. Yeah. I did not see that coming. I'm like on the fence with whether I like it or not. Yeah. Because it was it's a little too much. I feel like as them being super old and two old people fighting right. just like oh exactly you know, they're gonna break each other yeah so but how nice was the end to see him crawl up in that 
home alone, like oh god, he not being able so to well. move. Yes, he did. And that was his biggest fear mm -hmm. or his thing. He didn't want to end up some old man in a home. Mm -hmm. But did they say that in the movie? In because, the movie, mm -hmm. he did say that. Oh, okay, because I couldn't. I didn't remember. I remember it in the book, but I didn't remember him saying. He that said it movie. to the guy that was working with him, no, okay. Vincent, 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 that was trying to convince him not to do it. And he was just like, "No, I need it." He was like, "I don't want to be in no home relying on this. I want to be on the mm -hmm. beach, yeah, or a cocktail yeah, yeah. or something." He made uh, a comment like that. Oh, yes, he was sitting in the room with the beach behind him. Yes. Interesting. Mm, uh, and that water dripping out like trying to drink the water and yes. out of his if mouth. looks could kill he would have murdered Vincent <laughs> at know, very moment. Because he was just like he just kept making this face like I will kill you. And the lady was like oh he can hear you. He oh, knows he what you're you. saying. And I'm right. thinking to myself yeah his brain is uh -huh. like you lucky I can't lift the hand. Exactly. <laughs> it choked the heck out of And that's him. another change they made too because Vincent was on um, Betty's side the whole time I thought in the book. So that's what I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was kind of confused whether it was a change or not, if I remember right. correctly. Right. And so, I think so. Wait, what yeah. you're saying? So Vincent mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. friends with Betty the whole time. She like almost like she hired him to, to be play the like the yeah, to play the game. And all those yeah, like the oh, doctor and everybody gotcha, else. Gotcha. But in the movie, they made it seem like they found out who Vincent really was to Roy and went at him and like, listen, if you don't, we want to stay out of jail. You're gonna help us and stay. Right. That's you know? what they did. Yeah. In yeah. The car ride. Right. So right. the one change that they made, and it's one that I don't know how I feel about, but I felt like it was it was easier for me to digest in the movie was the sisters. Because you remember the dialogue in the sisters? It was like they went to some place to get measured and they were all excited because they thought they were going to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. But really, they were going to the camps that were going to get um, sprayed with the right they were the concentration die. camps. They, yeah. they were going to die. And yeah. she was kind of waiting to hook back up with her sisters. And she yeah. didn't realize by every time they came in and took one, they were taking them to what do you call the camps where they where they did the fumes and they killed the Jewish people in the camps? I can't remember. I can't remember. But that's basically what was happening to them. But they didn't show, they didn't do that in the movie. They didn't show any yeah. of that. And but they talked about a bomb. They talked the about the bomb, but they didn't talk about, I mean, in the book, it was cruel. It was so yeah. cruel. And they, they lightened that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, they died, so it wasn't too light. But you right. know what I mean? It wasn't so. I don't know that I could have handled a flashback of watching them no. go and her being all excited. Like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. I'll right. see the next and just exactly. kind of, they're I, all yeah. being killed. I don't think I could have handled it. Listening that. to that part or reading that part, I was just like, where, where are they going with this storyline? And it's probably got. That was super dark yeah mm -hmm. quick and i understood the setting but i was just like wait aren't we supposed to be my old people in a right. con right. Like, exactly. aren't we at concentration camps and whatnot that's so. what lost me a couple of times they kept going back to the you know i mean the arm i mean the military and all this and i'm just like okay exactly I'm so confused what's happening yeah and how and this is going to come together and that they took out so much of that in the movie mm -hmm. that i think it was kind of confusing to me on you know he supposedly repeated something that he heard mm-hmm mm -hmm. He did. They showed him listening in on a conversation. Yeah, but it was almost, to me in the book, it's like that happened more than one time. Like he could understand the conversations they were having. Oh, like he heard the conversations more than once. Right. Oh, and okay. so that's how he came to believe this. But to me in the movie, it was just like, what? Okay, he heard that one thing and boom, he just moved on. Like I didn't, it was and just In the movie, very it felt like he really didn't hear anything significant. He did it because he was angry at the sisters. Yeah. And then they fired him. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, after raping Lily. Oh, right. God. And ripping up baby girl's dress right no so sad i thought it was really cute when they were sitting there making their pin numbers for the accounts and she was like how about the picture there mm -hmm. and the way they looked at each other because she like kind of like turned around like almost like cussing him out and under her breath and he stopped and was like hmm, that was kind of weird the way you just looked like his face showed like what just happened right kind of thing went and it still went over his it head still did not end. yeah and at the end she's like Think now. Right. Think it's hard. been here the whole time. It's been right in your face. <laughs> He's like, Lily? Flowers. Lily. Right. Mm -hmm. And he tried, like, he over tried. and over again to clean it up. I he just, tried. I'm telling you. I just, I'm, there's nothing else to say about this movie. Yeah. I really enjoyed the I was kind of taken back by Steven when he went to Berlin and he took him to their old, where he used to be, I guess, the old camp or the mm -hmm. apartment or whatever. It was like a headquarters yeah. or something. And yeah. And he was going at him and I was like, okay, it's coming out a little too soon because mm -hmm. I felt like that all came out at one time in the book. I don't the quite court. understand that. Yeah. Piece, so why did Steven go why down go, that yeah. road at all? So because he said he, he loved, because he actually said it 
when he was talking to her, he said, you know, I'm sorry. I almost messed up in the, in the, at one point uh, because I love you and I care so much about you. Yeah. He's yeah, worrying. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. He did say that. Oh, uh, so he almost blew. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. But it didn't matter because he still didn't get it. No, he didn't. He, he was so caught up in his own con. Uh -huh. He didn't even see himself getting con. At I all. loved it. It was great. It was definitely a good, good one. So, what do y'all think about the cast? Absolutely <laughs> amazing. Like I said. <laughs> we laughing. I'm just laughing because, like, we all agree pretty much but didn't say the cast, but... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because it's like, well, I have nothing bad about it. Ian, I, love I love everybody. You. Helen, I really love her too. Mm -hmm. um, she just is, and she's such a beautiful woman. Yes. So beautiful. She oh. is so beautiful. So I saw the trailer for this before it came out. And so I saw the two main characters. Mm -hmm. When I saw it, I was like, Didn't nailed you get it. so yeah. excited. That's why I was, was, I was anticipating more excited anyway. this movie because I saw that trailer mm -hmm. and I was like, they nailed Like, yeah. I didn't have anybody pictured to play those roles. But when right. I saw that trailer, I was like, nailed it. Perfect. Right. That's the same thing I did. I saw. I, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on in the movie, but I saw the two people and I said, like, oh, I'm good liar! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really anticipating it was really that. Good, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, let's get to voting. We don't have, there's no, there's really no criticisms or anything for this, so I feel like I know what direction this is gonna go. Right. Um, so I'll start and I'm gonna give it a full glass of wine. I'll go next, and I also give it a full glass of wine. I have nothing bad to say about it. I will give it a full glass of the redneck drink we are drinking. Yes, Nassau Valley Vineyards. Uh-huh, redneck road. <laughs> <laughs> You've already had too much of the redneck yes. road. Dreaming. You're dreaming a little too much. Right, right, right. I also will give it a full glass. This was a great adaptation. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, look like I like it. Full bottle. Up the All right, so go to check out The Good Liar. Um, read the book, and it's going to start off slow, but, you know, push through it because it really is a great story. Push. And then go see the movie. It's a great adaptation. It's just a great movie overall, so if you go see the movie and don't get a chance to read the book, we encourage you to check it out also. All right, so... Follow us on Read, Watch, Wine on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Trust is awesome. Trust is awesome. Can you read between the lines? The movie. Okay. Sorry, just a couple of yeah. quotes from the movie. But yeah, email Mom us back. at readwatchwine <laughs> at gmail.com. You take Raya to throw you off, right? Raya. Okay. It's not hard. And <laughs> tune in for our next episode. Please, 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 and thank you so much, Nat. See you next you? time. Oh, I really do smell fireball.